Are we live? Yes, we are. Hi, everybody. Hi, 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 hi. Um, so good evening, good Wednesday evening. Right, first of all, I'm going to tell my husband to stop texting me because he's sending me would you rather questions that will all come in in a moment. So I'm going to say stop now. <laughs> So hi, good evening everybody. If you are watching us uh, live on, we are streaming on loads of places like Facebook and YouTube and groups and on our friends at Three Pugs Gin pages this evening. So my name is Kate Carney. I am from Sip and Share and tonight, normally on a Wednesday, we do a Meet the Distiller interview chat thingy majiggy and tonight is a little bit different as you may have seen from some Instagram posts and some messages and all that jazz because tonight uh, I am joined by some friends of mine and this is why I do feel like it's the game show, you know, like what are them people that are all in the images? Well, you'll see it in a second. Um, and we are going to be, hi Louise, good evening, if you are having a little sip this evening, and of course you are, hi Jade, tell us what you're drinking, tell us what you're sipping, even though it's only, oh god, it's five past seven, hi Rachel. Uh, so I am going to slowly but surely start adding our lovely friends on camera, and then we will show you what we are drinking on oh, Ashley, love it, okay, what we are doing, what we are doing, good evening, hi Lana, hi ladies, nice to see some familiar names, uh, so let me introduce the first lady, and what we're going to do is we're going to get these ladies to hold up what the hell they are drinking, let's just check that everybody is drinking the same stuff, because if we're not, that sends a group live tasting out the water, that makes it all very confusing, so let's check first with Ashley, so Ashley, I will add you, here she is, unmute her, can I unmute her, Oh, I've just muted you. There we go. We're in. We're in. We're in. We've got you. We're in. We're in. We're in. We're in. We're excited. I don't know if I'm more excited about the fabulous, colourful uh, gin that we're drinking tonight, or that it's a school night and I've got a legit reason to be drinking. <laughs> work, work. Uh, so just show us that pack for me. What are you drinking? What have we got? What are we trying? Oh, thank God she's got the right one. Okay. Marvellous. And it's, it's stunning. I can't wait to get in them. We'll put it down, you're not opening it just yet, stop being so bloody keen. Right, uh, next on camera, let's bring Beth. Here she comes, Beth. And let me, or are you going to unmute? She's going to do it. She's going to unmute herself. <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> uh, Beth, check, show me what you've got in your hands. Let's have the evidence here. We are, hello. <laughs> hello, <laughs> colour. Hey, Beth. <laughs> Everything <laughs> wobbles, Beth, when you wobble that books parade. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Uh, so Beth meet Ashley, Ashley meet Beth. In fact, ladies, can you do like a high five? Look, if I can high five Ashley. Oh no, oh, oh, oh bollocks. Right, let's try it going. <laughs> that looks really weird. Okay, and we have got another one of our friends here, Caroline. Let's add her in. Here she is. Uh, Caroline, I'm going to unmute you. Let me know you think. I am unmuting oh, myself. Unmuting yourself. Are you so incredibly clever you can unmute yourself and that's not me so you're also the gorgeous one no offense ashley no offense <laughs> but i am allocating that lovely lady here as our glamorous lady oh, thanks. Let's what you've got oh, my pleasure darling. hello she's got it she's got it she's got it right so lady now we are all all yeah yeah come on let's right i'm gonna uh, caroline i'm up yes ashley no, <laughs> we're like we're all on X Factor and get kicked off, like no one knows what they're doing. <laughs> um, so how many, how many pugs? First question of the evening, how many pugs are the girls? So, what do we reckon the name of the skin is? Do we think it is your three pugs? Then? So, which will make sense when we're streaming on this page. So, we cannot taste all this gorgeous stuff. Well, we could, but it'd be a bit harsh to just leave the distillers sat on there. But it never, never adding them on. Christine and Steve would hate me forever. So, our friends at Three Books Gin have kindly gifted these gorgeous sets. Now, as always with Sip and Share, these are first sips. So, we are still sealed, aren't we, folks? We have not opened our box. Cannot get into it just yet. Um, we have not opened them, but I will disclose as part of my full set that I was kindly given, very lucky, uh, a few months ago, I have already had the lemon sherbet. So I know a bit about this one, which is why it gives me full confidence to know how happy we are going to be to drink this on camera. So let's add, I tell you what, let's open our box first 
and then uh, and open it up. So Ashley, tell, let's tell unmute yourselves, ladies. Actually, well, let's do unmute. Where are you? In the Where are you, Ashley? I never realised that. Um, oh, they just look, so when you shake and you shook yours. Well, the it's, like, it's beautiful when you shake it. Are they all shimmery? Yeah. Oh, I, I got in trouble last time because I didn't shake the lemon, and I had when I was in, and had Christian ringing me. Yeah, she. I was like, "Are you on loudspeaker? Shake the lemon." Right. So, three four. Remember what Chris said off camera. Mojo is Mojo, Tootsie, and Pepsi. And we're going to hear this story, I reckon, in a minute. But step them out. Oh. Good lord. Now who's got what to go with? Are we on Prosecco? Are we on lemonade? Are we meat? I mean what we do. Everything. I've got one of everything. Yes. I'm on nice. Lemonade and I'll go for neat as well. Neat as well. Oh, and a giant what does have not very nice? I also went giant, but I went giant prosecco. Oh, well. Uh okay, let's see. Let's get them out. Right. Oh yeah. Give him a good shake. Right, I think we've got a certain order we've got to go in. So let's bring Christine and Steve on. Caroline, I like how you're listening. Like, what's going to happen? <laughs> no, it does look like it's magical. So like a little a little troll might come out. And I don't know, though. Yeah, that's not. Tell you what, you don't drink your Caroline. You just look at it and shake it. <laughs> we'll, <laughs> we'll drink ours. Right. Oh, I like the packaging. Look at the background scene. Oh, God, I'm going to put them in the order. That's cute. That's cute. That's cute. Is, and have you have you seen Chris and Steve? That is so cute. We better see, haven't we? Let's have a look if that is an actual reflection of their faces. Yeah, that <laughs> next to it and, and get there them. We to there we go. Okay. So let's pop Chris on camera. Is that what she looks like? Yeah. <laughs> the team in the background looking way too comfortable with the giant pug's head in the background. I reckon Christine's got red nails. Chris, have you got red nails tonight, today, evening? Oh, I've got some colour rocking. Uh, hello, everybody who is watching. Oh, Rachel's having a dreadnought. Very nice. Rachel says, lemon sherbet is fab. Yes, it is. Hi, Scott. Uh, so, hi, Chris and Steve from Three Pug Gin. So, ladies, if I see what I can do, it, I will drive. I am the driver. Uh, let's unmute Chris. Where is she? Oh, Chris, you need to unmute yourself. There we go. I'm unmuted. I've got a special box that our Glitter Queen does. So, she glitters the little bottles as an extra special thing. So, so how can get her snow globe hits? You can, yeah. So look at that glittery box there. Bling, 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 bling. I hope you've not mixed up the bottles because the names are only on the box. I would never do that, ever. I, I know you've already mixed it up. Part <laughs> <laughs> of the excitement. No, I remember. But the thing is, so we've got names, and now I know these are the names of the dogs. Yeah. Dogs, dogs. But despite meeting your dogs... I couldn't tell you which one's which, but one of them sticks his tongue out, and that one is Pepsi. Yes. This is actually going to prove very useful, the whole alignment thing. I might keep them back so you can see. There you go. Mojo, Tutu, and Pepsi, right? Yeah. Right, Chris, what are we doing tonight? Because we are gagging for a drink. We're going to start with Mojo, which is the candy floss. Right. Now... Put your hands up if you're ever a little bit scared of candy floss things. Because uh, it's like, I'm a bit scared. No scared, no fear. Ashley also a bit scared. Ladies, you can unmute. Unmute. I'm not, I'm going to hands off. Unmute. And also, anything that says unicorn, I always think looks beautiful, but doesn't always live up. So I'm really hoping, Chris, because this is Mojo's, I'm really hoping this is the one. That's yes. Going to well, I think you will. I hope you will. We designed the flavours on this um, to match the candy floss you get on the fair ground. And there's a little tail, and the reason it's called Rise of the Unicorn Pugs is because the fair, fairground crew who's laying down behind me. Get them open, girls. I know Beth's on it already. You don't have to tell Beth. Beth knows exactly what. So doing. let's go through the tasting first, then before I tell you the tale. Okay. So we can You'll get the lovely shimmer. 
And can have any of three above, tonic, lemonade, or prosecco. But bear in mind, this is the sweetest one of the trio. Because lost his sugar. She can't own it, Kate. She can't own it. Why are you using your big bottle, Kate? Because that's got a wax lid, and that's like I can't open them before I drink them. If it's not a wax lid that's out to get me, it's a blast. Right, we're on, we're on, we're on. There's a little tab that you pull. So you'll get a palette of what can only be described as candy floss. But you know how on the fairground you get a little bit of a burnt texture at the end? Because they yeah. do the You should get that too. Because only me got a little tasting pot. Yes, so you've got what I call the cup for borrowers, which is you kindly gave to me because before that I was drinking a whole glass. Mm. It looks. You definitely drink it straight. Aerate it on your tongue, ladies. And the mixture. you will get at the back your citrus and the warmth of your basil from the signature blend that we use as the base. So this is the signature blend, which is one of my top three kind of signature. So this is our signature blend. Just won a bronze at London Spirits competition. Um, I was very scared of entering new competitions, so I went into what I thought would be the easiest. Oh, um, <laughs> We've all been there, Chris, don't you worry. We've all been um, there. So the signature blend, which is your back note, back of the throat, citrus, and the warmth that you're now feeling, is from this. So as a distiller, we're very conscious that as distiller snobs, we didn't want to shortchange our consumer base by using a cheap NAF-based gin for our liqueurs. We didn't want the... Um, gin distillers population saying well you can't have a gin liqueur well actually you can because this is the base of it um, and yes it's 20 percent but it's still got a hell of a what do you think girls best downturns in one uh, what the whole bottle <laughs> I thought, is it the right oh. is the bottle on oh. i need yeah. it to just whatever you want to do, Beth, but you sound like Norman Collier. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Who remembers Caroline. Norman Collier? What are you thinking, Caroline? I think I don't want to put any mixer with it because it's just so lovely. But now with a tonic, I'm like, do I put the tonic in? Do I continue drinking it straight? It's up to you. Oh, yeah. That is so smooth. Mm. It is beautiful. And you can definitely tell there's no skimping of a cheap... Um, base in that at all it is, it's lovely despite my unicorn yeah. branding fear it's, it's well it is quite it is quite sweet so i would have tonic with it rather than lemonade because okay. add lemon or, or your prosecco your fret fr yeah. cream net would be fine either or it's up to you but okay. because, because it's the sweetest one and if you don't like overly sweet stuff, then keep it as dry as you can by using your mixer to suit. And because we don't um, tend to put any extra sugar in them where we're supposed to. We put the minimum amount. Cheers, Kate. So, Cheers. so that it doesn't get claggy and overly sweet when you start to add your fancy mixers. But you could have this over crushed ice with a handful of candy floss on the top. Oh my god. Ooh. I'm putting ice in Prosecco. I know that's frowned upon in many ways. Don't put them in your freezer. That's so funny because as soon as you said about putting candy floss, me and Beth's face were like, Ooh. <laughs> they are they are a home garden pubs gift because they're cocktails in a bottle and you can do whatever you want with them. And it's dead easy, dead quick. No one's sat there saying, why is my cocktail? I ordered that five minutes ago. It's instant. But it's like satisfaction, ladies. Yeah. So much. Okay, Kate, come on. What's your thoughts? I have been incredibly pleasantly surprised by everything you've made from the very beginning, hence the review a few weeks ago. Um, and this is just like the lemon for me in terms of its smoothness. And I think the thing with... You know, I love this little pack. I love the branding. I love how colourful and playful it is. And you know, we've had this conversation before that there is a nervousness. There's lots of people out there. Long answer, short question. Apologies. There's lots of people out there that are like, oh, colourful. I don't want to touch a colourful gin. 
shut up. And you know, I don't want I don't want to do it. And I love a classic gin and tonic. And what I like about your stuff, Chris, and Steve, and Steve, sorry, Steve, in case you've got the dogs on your head. Sorry, Steve. Hey, Steve. You're <laughs> your stuff is that it's it's done properly. There is no there is no taste sugar high and then a strong cheap gin kick. It is so round, so smooth, so tasty, and something that um, and actually I recommended you to somebody the other day. I need to have a conversation off camera with you. <laughs> um, because these are gin liqueurs, playful, colourful gin liqueurs that I am proud to be associated with and I'm proud to own. They are not your cheap, nasty, your home bargains, like, or whatever colourful gin liqueur. They are colourful and they are considered, and that's why I like all of your stuff. So, yeah, and candy floss. I, I don't see this as amazingly much sweeter than what I, than the lemon I'm going to recommend. No. I it's don't not, know, it's not sweet at all. Well, because candy floss is just sugar, isn't mm. it? It's yeah. burnt sugar with a colouring. So there is slightly more sugar in it. But again, we've only got the minimum amount required to call it a liqueur. Because originally, the pugs who sit as a pug pile, and if you look at my post from today, they were sat as a pug pile this morning. I can never get this camera angle right. They're, they're normally on a label like that as a pug pile. And we have Pepsi at the top with the tongue out. Here's a little bit of a tip, girls, when you're choosing your next one. We've got Mojo, who's our little black rescue. Uh, black Pugs Matter. Contact Pug Dog Welfare and Rescue if you want a little rescue pug. And then we've got Tutu, our Asbo, on the bottom. Um, and she is our little drama queen, busy, busy, busy. And her full title is Frilly Tutu, which is actually a vodka cocktail. So there's always a drink theme in my house, always. Um, and yes, I get the distill to wear that pug head quite often, not in inappropriate situations. <laughs> I don't mind what Steve wears when he's distilling, as long as he continues to make this stuff. Pop a pug head on Steve. So I you don't... always find the pug pile on every label but the pug's parade. So that's that's a candy floss. And do look, I wish I could turn my laptop around and put a photo, ugh, put a post on Instagram. What percentage of these again, Christine? Are only 20%, Kate. Oh, oh, that's a big measure, though, isn't it? It's a big measure. Yeah. It's a, it's a double. It's a double. Do you I'm know like, what? I'm, I was thinking as well, Chris. Um, because like my daughter's 21 and she's just got into gin you know and she really likes the colourful ones because obviously the kids do and I was thinking about oh you know what what am I going to buy it but I don't want to buy that you know the the crap you see that's just loads of sugar and stuff yeah. she will absolutely love these she loves dogs she loves the story behind it but also quality you know I know she's not drinking rubbish that's the thing <laughs> you drank your <laughs> yeah, and I get I get where you come from there, and um, that's that's not necessarily the age group because women of a certain age you get together on a Saturday afternoon or a Sunday afternoon in their newly built garden bar. These are perfect for a Sunday afternoon and have some fun and that's what three pugs is all about we make quality stuff which is why we can get away with gimmicky some people call it packaging but if you look at the packaging that's quality too yeah, yeah, yeah. spoil the labels we took a lot of time with the stories on i don't know if you can see on the inside of the label there of the signature I've got a reverse print and on the inside is a pencil illustration of the three pugs mm. oh. And that appears on the black current as well. And on the black current and the signature and the dark days one, you get your little pug charm as well, which we sit in front of the television when I'm watching Coronation Street and put together. Now, so I've got to say, Chris, because you mentioned the labour of love. <laughs> this, I know we're talking about the gin liqueurs, and Ash, I completely agree with you in terms of a gift set. This is a perfect gift set, but it's a, a perfect gift set whether they are getting into gin and you want to give them not sugar, you want to give them really good stuff, or whether they are a proper 
classic gin drinker who are looking for something, you want to give them something a bit playful and introduce them. But I must shout out for this dark days stuff, Chris, That's because right. Stephen, well done with this dark days stuff. Because I tried this at a tasting at my mum's, I opened it a couple of weeks ago. And I say you have to, if you have a curry, you have a bit of lime, put a bit of lime in this. It's absolutely delicious. I thought this was exceptional actually. And it's um, so I just had to say dark days one for me is absolutely stunning. Well done, Steve. Better than the signature. And you, you were going to ask me that. <laughs> um, I would probably mix them two together and drink them at the same time. No. I, think <laughs> the signature. I think I think what's so interesting is it's a very different gin to the signature. What yeah. really impressive for one distillery to do a very different gin. So this has got kind of a warm spiciness to it for me with lime. Whereas the signature has got your orange and basil with hot citrus in it. So I think the two versions is, so don't make me pick between my favourite children. Which is your favourite dog? Would you answer that question? Yeah. yeah. Pepsi, yeah. there you go, he said Pepsi. Yeah, Pepsi, it's done. <laughs> right, so, you know we're loving candy floss, and I'm really pleasantly surprised with that. We're slightly scared, well, we not have any reason to be scared, but we know we're loving candy floss, so who've we got? Two, two. You've got two, two. Well done. See? Actually, no, you've got Pepsi. No, you don't. You've got two. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Make it, ladies. Like it. Polar white picture. Thank you. You shake it until the silver sediment disappears from the bottom. What and the silver that? sediment, before you ask, is an edible silk used in baking to make cakes shimmer. So it's perfectly, perfectly fine to put in drinks. I need to open the plastic. Smell it. I want you to smell it. Now, it smells amazing. It smells amazing. Can I just prove you gave me a bottle of this and look, it is still sealed. I don't know now, after tasting this tonight, how long it's going to be sealed for. Oh, my husband does love it when I'm, Sam does love it on a Wednesday night when I come downstairs at eight o'clock. Yeah, the world's amazing place. I mean, it's wonderful. <laughs> I do have to warn him. Oh, it's our second shimmer. And um, this will make lemonade or Prosecco or tonic. And you can add into this as your garnish. You know, the bubblegum millions, the tiny little bubblegum million sweets. Yes. Sprinkle them on the top. It pulls out the blue from the millions and they go white and then you can eat them at the end. Look at the Cheers. 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 Oh, Caroline's going on Prosecco. Yes. Yeah. It's too hard to get into it. I'll have to just try it neat first. Cheers, ladies. Cheers. 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 And I know Kate knows this. I'm sure you ladies do. But if you aerate gin on the palate, the botanicals become more flavoursome. I've got a question that my eight-year-old would ask me. Will it dye my tongue blue? Um, no. Not even I, if I drink it straight? No. no. Caroline's disappointed. How disappointing. I'm not sure. <laughs> I feel like I might need to try it out. Oh. But Caroline, if you want to prove me wrong, buy a bottle, drink the lot. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, Christine Ditchfield. <laughs> Marketing at its best. So you still get the signature tasting notes at the back mm. of the throat. So we've not compromised on that genius. It tastes like a particular brand of bubble gum, and I can't think of which one. I based it on the penny bubbly of when I was a kid, which was actually pink. Yes. Yes. The red right. no, it tastes like those ice pops, those blue oh, ice pops that you used to get. Yeah. yeah. And it was originally pink and didn't shimmer. But then, unfortunately, we were found to be, I'm going to come clean here, oh. found to be in breach of the Portman Group guidelines. And we'd had a complaint. Yeah, I know where you, I know, yeah. And um, after nine months of talking and we wrote off 10,000 labels, I decided to realign it make them all similar in style on the labels and turn the bubble gum blue and shimmery. Yeah. So stick that one up your pipe. I know. I know exactly. I know exactly that fear. <laughs> I know I know exactly what you're talking about. Um Beth, 
<laughs> Beth, we didn't hear you earlier. What did you say? What do you think? I really like it, and I really like bubblegum. And there's there's a place in Cheshire that sells ice cream, and they do a beautiful bubblegum ice cream. Because I'm local, I'm not. I'm over the border in Shropshire, um, but I'm on the Shropshire Cheshire border, um, and I love bubblegum flavour things. And um, this is yeah, I could just sit and drink it like pop. So that's really dangerous. Well, um, it's a day gin. It's only twenty percent. Yeah, but twenty percent. <laughs> times is quite a lot my love isn't yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> let's be honest and, and kate knows i can drink <laughs> I a card in life. <laughs> well, it would be dangerous if we all sat around a dining room table no. together i'm sure <laughs> <laughs> that color is amazing go on ashley what are you saying you know what i really love as well and i've only just noticed is the batch number and the bottle number on the back. Mm. That is just a tiny to detail like that, Chris. It's just stunning. And it doesn't matter if you, you know, you're trying to introduce your goddaughter who's only 20 to decent gin, or you know, you've got a friend up the road who's a gin snob. The fact that it's got that is such it just feels like you're called loving it. As well as like obviously the packaging, the dogs, everything, but it just feels like you really care about that. And the fact that I now know that you put your little things on in, in during Coronation Street. <laughs> well, we are gin distillers from a consumer perspective, if you think about it, because we fell into this game by being disappointed at a gin tasting night we went to. So um, every gin that we make, we blend at our dining room table. The black currant gin we developed on the balcony of a Haven Holidays caravan that we'd rented. You know, we took everything with us, we put our signature at 74%, we took some uh, black currant juice and we sat on the balcony and developed our black currant gin in a Haven holiday campsite with the books at our feet. So everything that and everything that we blend, we don't just say, oh yeah, that's brilliant, that's job done. We then get all the mixes that you, you that are out there to open name out a name. But back in the day, that sounds like really old now. It's only three and a half years ago. But back in the day, there weren't the plethora of tonics and mixes available. You had your fever tree, you had your Schweppes, and you had your Fentimans. That was about it. Um, so we have them there, and we try each one with our gin to find out which would be the perfect serve. We'd even drown them deliberately to make sure that if Somebody who doesn't like a strong offering puts the full bottle of tonic in, you're still going to get the botanicals coming through. And I can honestly say, hand on heart, that you do with our gin, be it the liqueurs or be it the full strength gins. If you drown it, you'll still get it and you won't leave disappointed. I've got a question for Steve. Steve, yeah. right, you might. I think I'm being sick. Asking, I feel very kind of uncomfortable and excited by talking to you when you're lying down, but we'll go with it. Um, <laughs> dogs on me, I can't move. Excuse, babe. You just I mean, you've got a short song. Okay, no, between legs. <laughs> Steve, weird question. Does it freeze? Only because I gave the children frozen prosecco cubes the other day thinking they were ice cubes. Yes. One of, well it's not my fault Chris to be fair because one of my ambassadors I didn't drink a glass of prosecco that was my fault for being stupid enough to leave it thank you Ashley for your face I know and so I put it so someone said Louisa said make them to ice cubes so then the girls wanted a drink made them drink water the compromises have ice in it they said mommy why does it taste a bit sweet and fizzy and I said get <laughs> your don't be silly I'm not joking. So does it freeze? It does freeze, but not solid. So it's it ends up a bit like a slushy. Like a slush. All right. So if, if you put gin or vodka in the freezer, it won't freeze. It yeah. will become very cold and very slushy. <gasps> you know what I'm thinking? Oh, like a gin slush. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so, Amazing. Well, funnily, you should say that because... Um, last week we did a video online and Louise made a um, bubblegum gin slushy. Um, and it's just a shot of bubblegum in your slushy ice, topped up with your lemonade or whatever. And then pour another, let it settle a little bit and then pour another shot of bubblegum on the top so it sort of trickles through. And add your million. 
or your bubblegum sweets or your sherbet or whatever it is you want to do. It's a bit of fun. Go and buy sweets for kids. It's Actually, a cool you it cure to have fun with because life is to have fun, not to be miserable. So on, on, on Saturday, we're having a bit of a garden party because my eldest is one of my teenagers, so obviously I'm going to need to drink gin. Yeah. So I'm thinking bottles of Prosecco and and put in, like, try and freeze, not freeze, but, you know, get, like, little cubes of this in it and it'll look so cool, won't it? You've got, like, blue ice cubes that are probably not frozen. Yeah, what I would do is I'd part freeze it and keep stirring it so you've got the shimmer circulating and then put it in ice cubes or in shot glasses and freeze them in the shot glasses, give them the shot glass, let them melt it and drop it in themselves. There's a bit of artistry for you. you <laughs> the 13-year-old, just, just the time. Oh, showcase. I was thinking she could have one, but then that's my parent in divine. I gave them a uh, Right, I've got, whilst before we move on to the next one, I've got an I, not an I have never, Kate, wrong game. Would you rather, I have been doing this now for about eight weeks. Would you rather, would you rather, and I'm going to go round, Ashley, we're going to start with you and then we're going to do you better. Would you rather, this is my husband, this is how exciting, sorry, Sam. Uh, would you rather sleep without a pillow or without a blanket? Ashley. Pillow. Pillow without a doubt. I would not sleep without a blanket. We could just put more clothes on. I, no. Fine. No, I have to have a, I could be naked, but I need a little something over me. So yeah. Sorry, Sam. No pillow. I mean, he hasn't, I mean he hasn't said his opinion of his preference, but no pillow. Beth. Uh no blanket. <gasps> Ooh. High five you. High five you, Beth. Ready? Where are you? <laughs> I'm oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, drying my head and I have to keep turning it so it's cold in the night. So I turn my pillow on night so I get the cold side. That's a bit weird, but okay. Each to the right. Steve, Steve, Steve does that. I do that. Turns his pillow. I mean. It's a bit weird. Steve does yeah. it. And so Carol, it's weird. I do it. No blanket. Why else can't I? No blanket, Caroline. No blanket. I'm with Ashley. No blanket. Yeah. Oh, no black, no blanket. What, wait a minute, what am I? Christine, what are you? I would not do without a blanket. <laughs> and I'd use one of the pugs as a pillow. Oh, <laughs> uh, right. just the right size, aren't they? Just kind of pug pillow size. Steve, what about you? No blanket. Well. He's ever hopeful. <laughs> 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 That says enough about it. And you'll both be very comfortable together. Yeah. Not, but the rest of you, you and Chris will be just fine. Um, my side, desperate for the pug action here. <laughs> <laughs> desperate my, for the pug action. Oh. That by me saying, why are you talking about why are you not talking about me? <laughs> I think it's, it's, all right. it's all right, Chris. I've got a Labrador. It's like a double pillow. There you go. Uh, oh, nice. Uh, Louise says, Beth, I'm with you. Totally get the cold pillow. Yes, yeah, see? See, I'm not the only how, how cold is your bedroom? In order, if uh, you rotate the pillow, it's then cold. I have a fan on. With a fan on all year round. So I have a fan on in my bedroom at the bottom of the bed pointed directly at me all season. I thought you were great at the three rooms with your mate last week with Becky, weren't you? Like in sharing a room. Oh, no, I was gone. I didn't even move all night. And apparently I make really noises in my sleep. Apparently I, which I never knew. But I've now learned I make satisfying, hmm, Mm. Oh. Mm. Noises in my sleep. Well, <laughs> cooling pillow. Yeah, Ooh. I've seen the like, blue cooling pillow. I, yeah. I yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're okay. They're all right. Oh, just drink a couple more doubles of bubble gum and no one will care how you sleep. It. Right. <laughs> going on to my, my favourite liqueur that ever exists ever. Oh, no. Wait a minute, Chris. I need to go on a little bit. It's not oh. my favourite, but it's my second favourite. Oh, why? Wow. What's the new favourite? It's been my favourite from the beginning with you. Everybody has to own one of these. 
Or apple crumble. Yeah. You have to own one. There's like no sort of negotiation. It's very dictatorial. You must own one. It's the bomb. Ooh. Right. Second only. Uh, no, before, you, before you taste it, you'll get a full palette of lemon. Full palette of lemon. And hold it on your palate. And as the lemon sherbet sweet cracks, you'll get the experience of the fig. I love this one. Right. It scared me how it looks. This is the it's thing. Gone. They look beautiful, but scary, yet taste exceptional. This is the confusing thing. My brain, this is why I call things a magician, because my brain can't handle it. Kate, before this, I'd never had gin liqueur. I'd stayed well away from anything that said gin liqueur. I am a gin snob. Which I was like, so bad. But this has changed my life. Yay! <laughs> Caroline, the things to note here is once you've had three pugs, you can never go back because that's in what you will be doing. You will be going backwards. You will, <laughs> you will measure every liqueur now against. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't need any of the liqueurs, Chris. What other liqueurs do I need? I've got the liqueurs. Did you get the fizz, girls? Have you had the fizz? It hits at the back of the I like them all neat, though. I think the like yeah. the ruins it. I would just drink these neat. Yeah. Tipping drinks. I'm enjoying them with, um, either neat or with Prosecco rather than lemonade. That's, that would be my choice, is either neat or with Prosecco yeah. rather than lemonade. That would be my choice. So imagine your friends are having a party yeah. and you just do the shimmering liqueur as a welcome drink. And you look around the room and it's a vision of lemon and blue and pink. It looks amazing. <laughs> Beth, I'm having ideas now for the 26th. Yeah. 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 Shimmering. We need to get shimmer. I, I am getting these for my, um, I'm going to buy these for my brother-in-law for Christmas. One, because they've got a bug called Baxter. And two, because they're gin drinkers, but they're not like, um, his girlfriend likes sweeter things. So I think she'd really enjoy these. Yes, yeah. They're the type I hide my gin collection when they come yeah. around. Nice, good. They're, 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 but because they like, I, but they really like sweet gin. So I think this would be a really nice introduction into a, a more adult not gin. supermarket shelf. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Some, because they're, they're supermarket gin shelf people. And I think this would be a really good introduction into something that's not supermarket shelf, that's a little bit more niche and nice, mm. but it's got novelty to it as well. So they're having these, I've decided. I but, love that, Beth. They're supermarket gin people. <laughs> That's <laughs> not a gin snob at all. No, no, she's not. She's the one with the people. <laughs> Beth, I've got three Beth, I've got three of them. I've got three of them. They're all empty. <laughs> they're all empty, yeah. <laughs> well, they're so, if they're watching tonight, Beth, you won't be getting any reciprocal uh, Christmas presents off. <laughs> well, <I'm laughs> my birthday in two weeks, and I'm just hoping that people don't buy me supermarket gin for my birthday, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Clearly. I'm going to say it depends which supermarket, Beth, because I know a couple of distillers that are in a couple of supermarkets. Yeah, and you get quality things in supermarkets that are some good home brand, good own brand distillers who have got into supermarkets because they're big enough to be able to do that. I can't go into a supermarket because I've made no money because yeah. we're too small. Yeah. So you'll, ne I, I doubt unless we're bought out for you know by a big conglomerate. You'll ever see us in the supermarket because we we wouldn't be able to survive on on the type of income you would get from that. Yeah. I mean, Chris, Chris, where are you based? We're in Warrington, yeah, just down the road. Just down the road. Kate, Chris, whereabouts in Warrington? We are. We used to be in our distillery on the back of our house, which is behind me, and then at the end of 2018, we moved into a unit at Penkus Business Park. Oh, cool. Ashley, we're going to go. There's going to be an event. We're going to come. All the gym ambassadors are all going. Awesome. Yeah. Are we? Yeah. That's an announcement. Don't know when it is, but it's going to happen. We're going. Not far, um, far from us. Not far. No, not far. I've got another would you rather. Go on. Ashley, put this one to the group. Oh. Would you rather... And I'm going to start with you, Chris, and Steve, actually, as well. Would you rather lose your sense of 
taste or your sense of smell? <laughs> no. Smell. Because you can train your bud. Train your buds, yeah. <laughs> Training my buds for years. Caroline, would you rather lose your sense of taste or smell? See, part of me wants to say taste because that would be like the best diet ever. But yeah, smell, definitely smell. Lose your smell. Lose your smell. Beth? Living surrounded by fire, definitely smell. <laughs> definitely smell. <laughs> what are you doing? I, am, I smell everything. There's nothing that I've put in my mouth that I haven't smelt. Oh! Right. But I <laughs> literally smell everything. So I would find it hard. And I've got a friend and my mother-in-law who can't smell a thing. Uh. And they, they, and I find it really hard. But if I had to pick, I would definitely lose my smell, I think. Because I wouldn't taste gin. So then... No. So What's somebody that? asked in one of the comments if I could put a pug up close, please. Lorna, oh. Lorna, I want to know this is Tutu. Oh no, I was going to call it Pepsi. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is Tutu looking a bit bewildered. This is our drama queen. Do you want some gin, Tutu? Who likes to eat more dogs, though? Hey. Our dogs would get a dog off, wouldn't we, a few weeks ago? Our dogs. Yours were very keen. <laughs> Right, can you tell Steve something? Steve, I feel like you need to watch what I'm about to do and you might tell me off. What you're about to do? You're going to mix bubble corn with lemon. Can you do that? Um, do it. Wait, 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 wait. And now in my head, this is going to layer like oil and water. I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, no. Is it nice? I don't know. I'm about to drink it's it. Green. Okay, I, might, I might let you try it and then join in. Mm. And now she's adding one with Sorry, Steve. Join you, ladies. You but can't I'm do that, can you? Oh, <laughs> it's not it. so black. Kate, that's a terrible colour. No, no. Oh. It's a greeny layered. Uh, <laughs> Taste it. Chris, I did blue and yellow. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> something. Steve, okay. just saying, you know, I need the first bottle if you trademark this one. It's lovely. <laughs> Actually, I'm copying you. Lemon and bubblegum. I've got some dribble. Lemon and bubblegum. Bubble lovely green colour. Lovely green colour. Like and Prosecco with cakes as well. Okay. I think that was quite art and bony, Kate. I feel it's very stylish, Chris. Oh, what does it taste? It's nice, Caroline. I like it. Uh, on the lemon, but more bubblegum than lemon, I think. In you put bubblegum and lemon together. I'm going to yeah. do that. But you, does it taste bubble gum like slightly it? overpowers the lemon, even though there's yeah. more yeah. lemon than bubblegum in it, because it is still quite yeah. lemon. The bubblegum ever so slightly overpowers it. Colour's amazing, isn't it? Oh, it's, really? oh, it's got a real shimmer to it. Um, Louise has said, I once burn all my taste buds by gargling with, oh, with Dettol. With Dettol? What the fuck? With Dettol? You've been listening to some good jump. Louise, <laughs> my God, Louise. And it was the most miserable, when she said, uh, it was the most miserable experience ever. Not liking your grey fizz. I don't know what you mean. That's purely marketable. Look, it's like a dark, greeny grey. It's absolutely delightful. Very oh. fashionable, Grey Kate. Very fashionable. Very true, Caroline. I would expect that from you as well. Very good. Thank you very much. Now, Rachel Andrew made a good point when she put hers in the freezer. It froze. So the the answer to that is the less alcohol in your spirit, the more frozen it will become. It's more water, isn't it? Because it's more water than alcohol. So you might, if you put the liqueurs in the freezer, get more of a frozen ice cream okay. than you would if you put full strength at 40% in the freezer. Okay. I mean, I don't want to go wasting your signature in a freezer, to be honest. There's no, no playing with that or your black currant. That's just way no. dark days. Actually, let me show them. That colour's amazing. Lorna's just said something for Halloween. How cool is that? I want to have a Halloween party. <laughs> uh, you like the lemon with the second. Lemon and Prosecco, mm -hmm. beautiful. It is. Oh, is let that... me try that one. It is, I'm right. Can I have a 
what haven site were you on when you when you did you, when you found your black it was the one near, one, like, one near Barmouth. Barmouth. one near Barmouth. what's that one called oh, i don't know on hey. the on the welsh <laughs> north wales coast northwest wales green acre oh yeah 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 green acre or for bitching yeah <laughs> Some sort of like holiday caravan park tourist guy. <laughs> like, I'm all of these locations in the UK. I'm, I'm a bit of a. I, I'm. We're looking at buying a caravan at Haven. You just, bought, you just bought a gin van. Stop spending money on oh, other items. To I've drink. got a personalised sign for it that says "Welcome to Best Gin Wagon." <laughs> 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 Camper. but we're looking at buying it we're looking at buying the static at green acres oh so, right well that's where we developed our black current there you go okay. Okay. have you noticed my champagne glasses are like my pub glasses I, i've left your glasses downstairs all of them i absolutely love your glasses are my go-to glasses in fact let me ring my husband all right we're getting one now <laughs> i really want the glasses Really Kate, Kate, can we stop this talk of caravans? Right. Go and then, and then I'll have to leave. Oh yeah, because Ashley currently lives in one. Everybody, it's a bit of a thaw point. She's building her own house, which is a side note. But she's. Oh. <laughs> oh. So these are our gin glasses. I mean, I've just texted. Oh, wow. Asked me to bring the dishwasher, but my champagne glass matches. Love it. Oh. Um, but we also can personalise and put slogans on for you and get this right. I'm not very good at this, am I? Yeah. There we go. This one says, Head Distiller Steve. Oh. And I've got one that says, Head Human Chris. Oh. So you so, can have you can have those uh, blinged as well, if you wish. So Chris, if you are Say we ordered the Pugs Parade yeah. and a glass. Does the glass come in a box? It's not box, no, because wrap. That, we wrap, wrap it in bubble wrap and send oh. it out so you can wrap it up if you wish. The no, glass is But it doesn't come in a packaged box, no. I'm thinking like that. This I might do all my Christmas crapping in one fail sweep at your... your well, where, where are you based? Gosh. I'm, I'm not, I'm a, I have to travel through Warrington a lot. Well, just come and do your Christmas shopping on site. We'll put some discount. <laughs> you delivered me a glass. Yay. Oh, Actually, I think you live near me, you know. Where do you live, Caroline? Davenham. <gasps> I live in Hartford. Yeah. We're literally around the corner from each other. Oh. Yeah. You are so you put your glass with your order. You should bring it home for you. Yeah, I'll pick it up and drop it at your right. But you won't know where I live because there is nowhere in Hartford that is, uh, advertises the caravan site that I live on. Because mm. I'd be picked up the Hartford if they knew that I lived in the caravan. Yeah. <laughs> right, ladies, we have a question. So, like, you're not supposed to pick from your favourite dog and your favourite kids and, you know, your favourite pets, but we all have one. Out of Mojo, and here's a quiz, Mojo was pink. Mojo is pink. Tutu is blue. Yes. And Pepsi is a lemon. Which was your favourite? We're going to go, Ash, I'm going to start with you. No, don't, because look, I've just pulled myself. Okay, okay then. Uh, <laughs> Beth is currently taking all of the uh, fumes from what is left in the mini bottle and sucking them back up. <laughs> <laughs> Beth, which one's your fave? Um, I didn't think it was going to be when I first sniffed it, but when I actually take it, I actually think it's um, Pepsi, which is the lemon. Yeah. yeah, I think that if I was drinking, I think well, no, if I was drinking it neat and just sipping on it, it would be um, Mojo, which is Oh, which god, is we don't know which one we've got to look. Red candy floss, yeah, candy the red floss candy amazing. Floss would, be my, would be my favorite neat, but my favorite mix of Prosecco would be the, the lemon Pepsi. Yeah, I enjoyed that the most. The Prosecco, Caroline, what about you? So, 
Pepsi. Pepsi is my favourite one. Oh, oh, similarly, oh, not lemon. me. Lemon. The, lemon. Lemon is my favourite one. <laughs> but actually, if I was going to drink it neat, I did like the bubblegum one neat. Ooh, nice. Ash, come on then. Controversial. Um, neat. Mojo, the um, pink candy floss one, really? which I didn't think that I would go, I was going to like that. Yeah. Neat, I absolutely love that. Um, and I think with lemonade, the blue two two one, nice. Um, and actually, I, I really like the mix of the two as well. And I I, I added prosecco, so yeah. Oh, you like created your own thing there. I like that too. Better than Sharish that just goes pea blue. <laughs> Chris, what about you and Steve? Like, if you had to quick, Steve's already said he's got a favourite dog. He's broken the rule and said, <laughs> which is your favourite? Bubblegum, what have we got? Bubblegum, candy floss, or lemon? Steve, what's yours? Lemon. I like lemon. Chris, what about you? Well, I love lemon because I love anything lemon. Oh, I do. Um, so yeah, if I was if I was to choose to have a drink, then the lemon. But then I can look, and then, but then the small person in me, if I'm out anywhere, I tend to have one of everything and just show them off around the room. Yeah. Hoping that I'll make some sales. <laughs> Woo! Permanently walk around with like shimmering. Yeah. And I, tend to, I tend to spin them a bit now and make them shimmer. I feel like Steve has got to add to his magician distiller portfolio with actual magician tricks now that we can take <laughs> Well, you've just created one by making them green and black. Yeah, green and green and grey. Oh, it could be like black jack that one. You yeah. know, like, do you know what? It is a bit similar in colour to the black mm. jack green, actually. Yeah. Is it nice? It looks like dishwater, but is it nice? Ah. Imagine, imagine all three of them mixed together. It is that, and you leave very confused. <laughs> like a great night out in your okay, good night out then. And, like and the best time and then you get to the end of the night and you're like I who I was with or where I went but actually it was the best night of my life it's like that in a drink so you're drinking it going it's delicious but I can taste everything that's like a film I just watched the other day right so it's nice though because you get the lemon at the end very weird. It really is very nice. Um, I just need to show off, Chris, Steve. I've got to show off. <gasps> I could do like a private tasting of cream soda. It'd be just be a bit weird because it'd just be me drinking it because you guys. No, I can join him. Well, this is now awkward because you lot could do that. And I'm going to sit and drink it. I love cream soda. Cream soda is like my favourite. Oh, oh, I'm going to love this. Hold fire on your ordering online with your discount and your free glass. Hold higher, folks. Because so um, I did have to learn that this doesn't. Yes, Rachel, the film was part of the project. <laughs> it was what we're doing. Um, uh, so I had to learn that this one is not shimmer by no. violently shaking it for yeah. my eight year old to say it's not shimmering. Uh, okay. Yeah. Right. So I'm shaking it no matter what. So this is. Uh, Cream soda flavour. Oh my goodness. Mm. I know. I know. It really, I love cream really soda. Is. It really is. Oh, I thought you were going to knock it back there. I thought you were going to take out the bottle. Like, just knock it back. I could oh, yeah, yeah. smell it then. And I'm not. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I wasn't going to drink out the bottle. No way. No way would I do that. No way. I wasn't going to drink out the bottle. <laughs> I haven't got my little chicken cooked borrowers because they're downstairs. Um, this, if you like cream soda, what is under? Um, and I am one of those people that was like a bit, what exactly is cream soda? Like when Chris and Steve dropped this bottle off on me, which is hilarious, by the way. If you haven't gone back, if you haven't watched the live review from about four weeks ago, maybe, and joined the live, I was with Vic, my friend. It was the first kind of time we were allowed to see anybody else. And um, Chris and Steve doing the live in typical of them, incredibly generous fashion, were like, oh, we'll drop you off a set of the bottles tomorrow. Well, shit, the bed girls. You should have seen my and Vic's faces when Steve and Chris went, we'll drop you off a set. We were like, ah. Oh, my God. 
Lucas. Don't be silly. Don't do that. That's really <laughs> No, don't. That's really way too generous. Don't do that. And so it went on until 12.30 the next day when they turned up with their three gorgeous dogs, a crate of six glasses, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine? Yeah. Nine bottles of which Vic and I were like, high five, high five, high five, high five. Oh my God, oh my God, I would. And cream soda, my tasted cream soda. So if you like cream soda, undoubtedly, this is pure cream soda. Like, oh my just no question whatsoever. With lemonade, and that well, makes it neat. Caroline. Neat. <laughs> neat. Um, I'm going to. Uh, Rachel says unforgettable live. Yeah, well, it was quite. Um, it was. Yeah. It was. Great. <laughs> I love cream soda. I, it's like I used to live in Canada when I was younger, and cream soda in, in oh, Canada, God. America, is like readily available everywhere. And it's the dog's bollocks. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> it is amazing. <laughs> and cream soda. And I just love cream soda. And my partner goes, oh, What's the fuss about that? And I'm like, Shut up, get out the front door. <laughs> <laughs> this, for me, this cream soda has got a really sort of smooth smell to it. Like, I know it funny, but there's no, like, cream. you don't get hit in the face with cream soda. You get a really nice cream soda gin thing going on. Mm. And of all of these, Steve, question for Steve, are all of these done with the signature? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's a very balanced, like the others, but for cream soda, I think cream soda is particularly a very distinctive flavour, more so for me, a bit like bubblegum actually, but more so than any of the others, very distinctive. And this has that distinctive flavour, but it's almost softer, like softened slightly. Um, yeah, drink it, just drink it neat, Caroline, when you buy it, just drink it neat. I mean, I'll just have one of every flavour. Well, that's exactly why my face was like this. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. No, don't be silly, don't be silly, Chris. That's ridiculous. Yeah. She's not pulled from yet. She will do, girl. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, are you sharing? <laughs> yeah. so I'm going to talk to Chris about it. I'm going to figure that out, Beth, to be honest. I might bring my set. <laughs> I'm bring talking my about the 26th of, June, of August. Have we no. agreed to the 26th of August? <laughs> yes, Chris. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So what we've agreed for the 26th of August is that we're going to do this again, but with cream soda. And we're all calendar aligned. We just all need to turn up to the distillery. With I mean, I'm free on the 26th of August. I've not got a problem. Caroline is available. She is very Definitely busy. available on the 26th of August. Just check my diary for you on the 26th yeah, of August. We can make it because we have got, I mean, you know, quite feasibly, I mean, you know, I don't I don't mean to show off, but I'm just going to I mean, Kate, they look half empty. Yeah. They are half empty. I know. <laughs> Um, I would make myself available on the 26th. Um, I've got a question for Steve and Chris. Go. So controversially, I don't have tonic because I it makes me gag. It tastes like vodka salsa. I just can't taste it. It's horrid. So I began my gin career <laughs> drinking gin um, with my name and then moved to ginger ale. I, mm. I love ginger ale, so like an alcoholic ginger ale with gin is amazing. Gin and ginger. Um, with that. I like to say, that. what's that? Ashley, the signature oh. is black currant. Ashley, you have to, it's quite dictatorial again, surprisingly, you have to have the black currant because watch, go back and watch the live. Because in the live, did I do this? Your, your face, you went, ginger ale. I know. I was very snobby about ginger ale. I was a bit like, oh, ginger ale. And then Chris, unsurprisingly, as the distiller, was like, will you just fucking trust me, please, and shut your mouth? It's like our blackcurrant gin with ginger yeah. ale is Ribena on speed. No, 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 no. I'm going to stop you right there, Chris. Oh. It's better than that. It's better than <laughs> Ribena. Um, ginger ale, you drink this, this I'm just going to go off on one. 59 minutes, 30 seconds in, ladies. And I'm off. Here we go. Um, <laughs> Ashley, buy that, the black currant one, 
And when you drink it neat, you do this face. Oh, it's actually quite dry and tart. It's a bit tart. It's like proper black currant. Like it's not messing with you. You have a pug face, don't you? It's on a. Yeah. Okay. Um, and it's quite tart and very dry. So you think, oh lord, how is this going to go with tonic? And then you remember that the magician has told you, Steve, ginger ale. You drink it with ginger ale, and that hit of ginger ale, it is amazing. I gave some at the Indian spot the other day. A friend of my kids' parents, popped over. Kids' parents, my friend, my daughter's friend, parents, not my kids' parents, because that's me. Um, <laughs> and uh, they thought they liked ginger ale, and I forced upon them, Chris. There was no like optional. We couldn't leave without it. They got fifty mil of this. Yeah. Ashley, very <sighs> once it's opened, don't leave it on the shelf at all because it's got pure fruit concentrate in it. Which, of course, once it opens and gets to the air, will continue to develop. And so, what I'm saying is, you have to drink the whole bottle as soon as yeah. you've opened it. Yeah, yeah. Chris, I know we've just met tonight. I don't think I've ever had a bottle of gin that lasted a year on my shelf. But thank you. <laughs> I was just saying, just saying, I mean, we have had some customers who have opened it and not touched it for eight or nine months and then rung me up and said it doesn't taste right. And I sent them a new one, but they, the deal was they drank it for four weeks, didn't yeah. leave it sitting on a shelf. Because you shouldn't do that anyway, because the botanicals will lose flavour once they're out into the air. Can I just rave ever so slightly about cream soda? I put a post on Instagram and Facebook the other day, Chris, and I said about, oh, which is the cream you drink? And you forget how much you love it. Like, you forget about it until you then drink it again. And the answer is cream soda. Ashley, your order now. So we're very transparent and very clear, my gorgeous friend, is black currant. Um, cream soda. I am just going to introduce Bakewell tart because it actually tastes like a Bakewell tart and it freaks you out. Oh, I'm not even joking. It freaks you out. How the fuck? I swear it's my own feed. How does Steve get pastry in there? <laughs> <laughs> Oh oh, it's like when Wonka's no Charlie and the Chocolate Factory when they're going to take the, the tablets yes. and they take that thing. So it's yes. the exactly. and you taste it, and it's got the pastry, then it's got the cake. You don't I'm know still on the cream soda. Look at that for a cream soda cocktail. It's a cream soda float. Has it got ice cream in it? It has. Yes. <laughs> That's what I've got visions of. I've got visions of me having cream oh, soda. Vanilla ice cream on top. Oh, it's so good. Right. Damn. So, in a in a slightly show, Chris, I've run out of glasses, so I'm just going to have to neck something. Oh, oh, sorry, I've gone against your rules of like, you gave me all them beautiful borrower cups in the downstairs. Just me, do. They are borrower cups. The borrowers. Um, the ba uh, cream soda. It's not got a sugar. There's no sugar rush to it. There's no like mess with your head. Oh my god, that's so sugary. It's really, really balanced. So you've got to get that. And I've got to tell you about my favourite. Wait a second. There's oh. a pretty well um, cocktail for oh, you. I'm Wait a sec. Let me just next this is a Wednesday night. Is it Campari? It is. It's a Negroni. They call, I love it, they call it a pogroni. Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. Cherry Bakewell. Uh, uh, they're my old. It's team. not Cherry Bakewell. It's Bakewell tar. Oh, Bakewell. Sorry. Bakewell, Bakewell. Anyway, shape or form, if it's got almonds, cake, I, I sit and cake, anything. Oh, oh my God. It's just my. I think that's one of the problems with being. I've, I'm a, I'm celiac, so I've got celiac disease, and so <laughs> bakewell parts are like one of the only things you can get that's decent and gluten free. And so I'm just. So, it's around. so weird. It's so weird because it smells like a bakewell tart. Steve, no. I'm just saying you're so weird. You're so weird because you made something that smells like a, like an 
actual Bakewell tart, like the entire part of the tart, Steve. Yeah, it's it's quite good. It's quite, <laughs> it's quite good. good. <laughs> I don't know how to answer Louise on what makes it frothy. What makes what frothy, Louise Kelsey? Are you shaking it, Louise, in some weird way? Or was it the... Oh, was it you were looking at the, the pogroni and the cream oh. soda? Yeah, it probably was. Right. Floating on a dream. The pogroni had cream on the top, and the floating on a dream had um, ice cream on the top. <laughs> it's just weird. I actually don't know how Steve does it because it just smells like a very cool. Every time you come on one of that hours, you, you get off your head. Paint. <laughs> Do you expect that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? There are nine bins, and we have got three in the tasting pack. That leaves, by my basic maths, six to talk about. My other beautiful friends not taste, but I feel like the duty of care. Oh, Beth, go and get a drink. Go on. Can I? You know. Yeah. Yeah. Come, on. <laughs> Come on. It's a Wednesday night. We're in, girls. No one's doing anything else. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. I'm off work. Yeah. So go and get a drink. Go and get a gin. Beth. Who's going to get a gin? Who's going to get a gin? That alarm has been switched. Ashley, go and get a gin. Caroline, have you drank, have you drank okay. more, Caroline? Yeah. Go and get something else. Quick Pop question before I run off to get one gin. So, my. Brother-in-law, I think then, because my head's not straight now, because I've got them off. Um, my brother-in-law has a hotel in Ockle Beckham. Say that after if you drink kindly. Um, has a has a hotel in Ockle Beckham, and they are where? Sorry, Ashley. Ockle Beckham. Ockle Beckham. Ockle Beckham. Ockle Beckham. Ockle Beckham. Right. Yeah, in Scotland. Anyway, um, he so my hubby is of Irish descent. And they have an, a whiskey bar, a whiskey shelf that is like must be 50 whiskeys. Absolutely. I mean, there's one that's like, you know, I don't know, 100 pounds a shot, whatever it is. Um, and he's growing his gin shelf. And I said to him, because I was up there last week, and I said, this needs to get better because it's all right for the guys who all want whiskey, but the girls now want gin. So he's probably got about 20. If I was to recommend one of yours as the first Hugs gin that goes on a shelf. Which one would you recommend, Steve? Chris? I would say um, if it's growing, yeah. signature, signature, because that will give him the flavour of the back tasting notes of everything else. Okay. Or if he wants an unusual um, classic London dry, the dark days, because that. <laughs> <laughs> 100%, 100% every time. Lime leaf cafe yeah. with black pepper. And if he wants us to go up and take the bar and do it, and he's going to buy all of them, then we'll go and do a tasting night for him. Excellent, excellent. I'll tell him. I'll tell him. He's so jealous it. now because she wants to go to Eccle Fecken. <laughs> yeah. When they first bought the hotel, we bought them all t shirts for Christmas saying the Kellys are the Fecken. Well, yeah. we just need to be put up for the night and we'll do a gin tasting night for him. Well, you, I'll make sure that you get the honeymoon suite, guys. Oh, oh. hello. You're um, going to have a pug's cake for me. Oh, <laughs> Don't yeah. get any ideas. Sorry, do you know what just so we're here, I'm there as well. Like, it's the oh, okay. I'm as like the contributors, like the, con like the you know. Yeah. Um, Steve, I've got to tell you, my husband had a few friends over on Saturday night, which doesn't normally happen, not because he doesn't have friends, but because like, it's just rare. Like, you've met them, right? Yeah. And my running joke is when he has friends over, I'm like, oh, when he sees people, is it is it lads, lads, lads? You know, like, lads on the beer, lads, lads, lads. And the next, so one of his friends stayed over, and the next morning, uh, his friend said to me, so I'm, I got back quite early. I stayed at my mum's with the kids. Got back quite early, about half eight, and and made made eggs and bacon and toast and stuff for breakfast. And Adrian, who's lovely, said to me, "Oh, that gin was quite strong." Of which my ears perked up. I was like, "Sorry, what gin? Did you? Yeah, did you have a gin last night?" 
And I said to him, and I named two gins that he can't have. One of which was another brand, which is HMS Spirits Dreadnought. Yeah, yeah. 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 And I said, you did not have dark days, did you? He was like, what do you mean? I was like, you did not have my dark days, did you? He's like, I don't know what your dark days are, Kate. I was like, you did not have three. And I went and got the bottle and he went, oh, no. Unfortunately, Sam had poured him some other stuff. Mm-hmm. Fine with. Um, but the signature and the, I think the signature and and certainly now the dark days are must haves. That, I mean, I, I, I love them both. I'm going to have a signature. I'm going to have a, sorry, I'm going to have a dark days tonight after this. So, Kate, what's, what's the dark days one then? What's the botanicals in the dark days? So this is, this is the dark days. So this is the one that was made during lockdown. Well, Chris, I'll let you tell it during lockdown and then I'll, I'll tell you. Okay, during lockdown, we wanted to try and, A, garner some uh, marketing and get out there on our website because... It was the only way we will be able to survive. And B, we were very conscious that we're not um, we're not frontline workers, although I do believe bringing gin to the people during dark days is a very important thing to do. Um, but we want to give back. So we've got this blend on the shelf that we were we wanted to bring out last year and couldn't because we couldn't get a trademark for it. We've got shouted at by the BBC and Endemol and every man from here to John O'Groach can't do that can't we so so I will do so we decided to bring out a gin for lockdown and donate 10% of every bottle sold to NHS charities together so we brought out our gin with 10 botanicals the usual suspects as it says on the bottom and then we added um, lime leaf which is kaffir and black pepper. peppercorns. Yeah. So you get, when you taste it, you get a tingly of black pepper all over your tongue. And then as it travels, <laughs> you're going to pour yourself on. <laughs> and if you want to bring out the black pepper, then crack some black pepper in your drink. So as you're drinking it, you'll get a lot of extra hits. Or if you want to bring out the lime, put a slice of lime in, good old-fashioned lime. But basically, um, we wanted to remember lockdown in a positive and special way because a lot of people have lost people. So our little note on the back talks about why we've done it. And then at the end, it's says, enjoy our gym. When you do, take a moment to think of every son, daughter, mother, father, family member, and friends we have all lost they are only a week away we salute you so that's sort of the 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 feeling behind dark days and for every batch that we make 10 percent goes now to a charity that our followers choose so batch three at the minute we had 20 or 30 charities nominated and we pull one out of a hat and it's called william it's about a little boy who lives locally who lost his life Due to a disease, so the charity donation back three will go to William's gift, and then batch four will choose another charity because NHS Charity Together phoned me after we donated from two batches and said they were unable to accept any more donations because it was from a product of gin, uh, but didn't want to give us the money back that they'd already had. But hey ho, <laughs> such is life. <laughs> and everyone else and everyone you know we had we had lots of chats didn't we around that time everyone else i have just texted my husband and asked him to send my six-year-old with some sliced frozen lime arrives <laughs> because I, I i do genuinely as a staple for your gin shelf kind of the charity's message is amazing and we talked about you know it's an aside thing really it's as a gin as a standalone gin anyway charity message event. the signature and the dark days are exceptional gins and i was really you know, i was really, it's it's true steve no no thanks it's true they are look at the dark days label we've got the rainbow in there there i'm not very good at this am i no um but it's sort of quite subtle and then on the bottle we have toilet rolls yeah, yeah. <laughs> i did laugh when i saw that and we have covid 
you know. And we have on the back of the barcode, little Mojo driving an ambulance. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. And the pub charm, because it's a full wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Sorry, that's in very cool, girls. Um, thank you. I've nearly finished. Getting evils from an eight year old. The <laughs> one, so the one I do, I do, I do the liqueur, I do want to talk about, which is my favourite one that you guys make. I think I, I personally feel it's really important everyone knows about it because we all know. You're a bit freaky weird, Steve, how you actually make these flavours. Like, why does oak well tart gin actually taste like oak well tart? I don't know. It's very strange. And the, and, and the cream soda, I think, is going to go into my category of gins. I forget how delicious they are until I try them again. You know, that gin that you think you forget. You forget. But um, the apple crumble, and you can see how much of my apple crumble. Oh, is it nearly empty, Kate? I know, worries me. The world's smallest violin is going to ring for me, play for me. Um, the the uh, three frogs, apple crumble, so 20%, so it's a gin liqueur, 20%. <laughs> Who doesn't like apple crumble? I mean, <laughs> it'd be quite strange if someone doesn't. Is exceptional. And I think, well, I'm not going to talk anymore. I just like weird. <laughs> So to talk about the apple crumble, because she's left you hanging there, hasn't she? And the apple crumble, we were asked to develop that for Selfridges, which we did oh, yeah. last oh. November. Um, but then when lockdown happened, I emailed the buyer and said, well, we're going to put it on our website, otherwise it's going to get lost in the whole ethos of everything else going on, and we don't want that. Um, and then we decided to um, try it with rhubarb tonic, Ooh. Yeah, like yes, sangria. It's 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 exceptional. And you get an apple. Is there any background of like cinnamon or anything like that that you would have? No there? cinnamon, just apple. You get the app. You get the gin first with this one. So the gin comes first. Then you get the little apple. So red apple, you know, baking apples. Ooh. And then you get this. Hit of apple crumble, the crumble. How can you make it taste like crumble. Like, how can you make gin oh, yeah. taste of like oats and stuff and flour? And then you want to make some. <laughs> so we got it. We yeah. work in the flavor house. I'll be honest with you. We don't blend the actual flavor. We work with a flavor house who uses natural ingredients to create flavors. Wow. And they hold in their laboratory a bottle of our signature. And I tell them what I want. And they send me three samples of flavors okay. they've put together that we think might work. And then we sit at our dining table or on the balcony in Santorini or on the balcony at Haven Holidays or wherever we might decide to do a blending session. Uh, it's quite fun going through customs with a bottle of unlabeled 74% signature <laughs> gin. <laughs> and, and we blend with our friends all over the world. And um, the census three. One had was apple, one was apple and cinnamon, and one was this apple crumble. And we were making three prototypes of Selfridges to try. And um, I said to see, I really hope they don't choose the apple crumble because I want the apple really? crumble. And they, oh, because you oh. chose the apple crumble because that then made it exclusive to them. And I knew it would be a slow burn then. Because four stores, and they're a fantastic store. We love working with them. Um, but I want to bring our brilliant flavours and products to the masses, not just a, yeah. a cliche small amount of people. Um, so the apple crumble, eat like the Bakewell tart, you get the flavours in the layers, so you get gin, then apple, then crumble. Yeah. It's so the extra flavour, what should you mix it with? Um, and whatever you want to mix it with, tonic, rhubarb tonic, from Fentimans or Morrison's do one. It's absolutely sublime. Mm. It really is. It's like a sweet apple crumble. So another one that Kate went, rhubarb tonic. 
Uncle Crumble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's like a, it is genuinely like you made an apple crumble and somebody's put a sugar topping on it, like a crisp, almost like a crystallized sugar topping. And then they've turned that, they've taken that spoonful and put it into a gin. It's delightful. Anyway. When we, get our, when we get our samples, sometimes we mix all three together. So it's not just a matter of picking one. We might blend, we those, might blend well. those three together. So basically, Steve, what you're saying is what I did earlier with my three combo was kind of what you do with the four. So I'm basically. There's no rooms. No rooms. So no you could come and work for it easy. Well, no, she couldn't. She drank all the gin. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. <laughs> right, 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 right. So we, we better go and let everybody who's been kindly watching for an hour and a half. You yeah, know, sorry, guys. To go. Um, the best yeah. one, best like that. I've had enough. I'm going to go online and buy three pugs on the three pugs website. Of which, let me just comment. There is, there she is, there she is. There is a 10% off. Let me just message 10% off with code. I think it's uh, uh, code sip and share. I think this is what. Yeah. Um, plus a free glass. Thank you. Oh my God. My husband has texted me and said, How long did you going to be? I was like, 15 minutes. And he just did that emoji. And he you said and share 10. Oh. Do it again. Do it again. Delete comment. Delete comment. Delete comment. On well, my part, no, just come home from work because he's a firefighter <laughs> and he just looks at the empties on the table. <laughs> it's all right, first. My partner wanted his dinner, but he wasn't allowed in the kitchen to have to order Domino's. <laughs> I, I, I haven't cooked tea. I haven't done tea. All the stuff of bolognese is on the side, but it's still sat on the side. And he's been he's a firefighter, so he's been to drill tonight. And he's come he home wanting his tea. And he's just looked at the empties on the table and just looks at me and kind of gone, okay. You <laughs> <laughs> must having a great time. Well, Can I just one second. Louise, yes, it's on everything. 10% discount, sip and share 10 on everything. Amazing. Can I just yeah. say, beforehand, so I'm, I'm like a therapist with kids by trade, and I said, if they've got work tonight, right, and they were like, oh, okay, what have you got to do? And then when I came back from Sainsbury's with Prosecco and lemonade and ice, they were like, what are you doing? And then they went, this is Kate Carney. <laughs> We sat down for dinner and I said, You've got six minutes to eat that before I go live. So, <laughs> my daughter's been sat near enough right next to me the whole night on her iPad. <laughs> we'll do many within, within meters, within feet of me with her iPad, just sat there in a world of her own. She's just oh, like, Oh, it's gin, mommy. It's gin time, is it, mommy? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't have any kids, but I was a very good dog mum and fed my dogs at least before we started this. I didn't have a partner, but I definitely fed my dogs. See, I, haven't, I haven't even done that, to be honest, Caroline. I did, the girls had friends today, and they they got to a point about an hour in, and they're throwing themselves on the sofa and looking at me, going, I'm bored. And the first suggestion was, well, you can clean my gins, of which all five of them said, no. We're not cleaning your gin. I was like, fine. I'll enjoy doing it myself then. <laughs> uh, right, ladies, on that note, on the note of cleaning gins and feeding our friends and partners and dogs and kids and whatnot, um, can I say a huge thank you to Christine and Dee? Thank you, Christine. Thank, thank you for having me. So we know the pub parade. So the pub parade is 15 quid. Is it, is it 14 quid? 15 quid. We can hold, let's all hold empty bottles, like, oh, it's so good. I'll, I'll hold my empty bottles, because my box is probably well, right that I buy it for Christmas, £25. Pounds. Uh, so, the three bottles, each are 50 
milliliters, not centiliters, because I keep doing this all the time, 50 milliliters. Um, but I would highly recommend you take a look around the Three Folks Gin website, use the Dip and Share discount code, of which you get a free glass as well, and explore, because not only does the Pugs, Pugs Parade, I absolutely, if you are someone who doesn't like um, if it's yours, or you're thinking, oh, I don't want to, I'm gonna mute, I'm gonna mute everyone for a quick second. Let's mute, let's mute, let's mute, let's mute. Yeah, if you are someone who is thinking, yeah, 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 I get it, I, the bubblegum like sounds nice, the lemon sounds nice, the candy floss sounds nice, but you're still thinking, I'm a classic gin lover, go and buy the dark days and the signature. Please do not look, and I mean this sincerely as a marketeer in my heart, which is what I am. Please do not look at the Three Pugs brand and think, ah, playful dogs. You can fuck off with that opinion. Yes, it's all lovely and fun. Sorry, Ashley, I know I saw everyone's like that. Oh, my God, Kate, so they make amazing gin. Like, there's no doubt about it. That signature blend with the orange and basil is absolutely delicious. So please do not go into this thinking, oh, isn't it playful and fun? Yes, that is part B. It also happens to be playful and fun, but it is an amazing, tasty, rounded, balanced, smooth, no harsh sugar, no harsh gin kick gin that is exceptional. So I'm getting a bit lectury and I'm gonna go, <laughs> we're all gonna go in a minute. But I feel really passionate about this because there's a branding, I nearly call myself a branding expert, Chris, and I know you can't talk because you're on mute, but I, I've got to start, I won't call myself an expert. But as someone that's into branding, I know how important it is to look at something and think I connect with that and I resonate with that and I like that the feel of that. And you might look at three pugs, people who are going to say gin snobby because it's my own feed, so I can. I can, can't I, Chris? I can. You might look at it and think that's not for me. Please read about it. Please read the reviews. Please talk to the distiller. Please look at the botanicals because I promise you, you will find the signature in the dark days absolutely delicious and the black currant, but I can't make, I can't like list it all. <laughs> um, but please be aware that the, that the gin liqueurs they make are based on that signature. And there is a reason why we haven't all gone, yay, it's such great fun. Like we just drink this at a party. Caroline is drinking it neat, okay? So right. we have um, an open door policy at the distillery. <laughs> and if you're in the area and if we're open, we you can come and visit. We don't outsource anything. Everything's an open book. Mm -hmm. You don't turn up at the door and we go, oh, uh, 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 you can't come in today because we've got absolutely nothing to hide. Yeah. Yeah. Chris, I have just sent you a private message saying, if I make an order on the website tonight, can I come and collect because I want to look at the distillery? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Whoa! 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 Yeah, oh, we're all open, we're all friends. There's an open door policy. She ain't coming without me, Chris and Steve. Literally, do not let her in. Like, close close the door, pull down. <laughs> Chris, actually, nine bottles to her house. You had to pass mine. Did you know, I? I'm just if being honest. Known, if yeah. I've known, she can come with you then, can't she? No excuses. Yeah, I'm coming Christmas shopping. Okay. <laughs> well shot. Um, right, everybody. Care. Ashley, Beth, and Caroline, thank you so much for basically drinking gin on camera. I mean, what a hardship we have all had this evening. Well, and go and enjoy your lives, your families, and your animals, and your partners, and whatever's going on. Chris and Steve, huge thank you to making this amazing, beautiful, delicious nectar, this magical shit that you do. We have very much enjoyed it. Um, and I'm going to go and also feed my children and probably myself because I'm thinking now of like a quadruple <coughs> days with like no ice and some tonic. Uh, so <laughs> thank you everybody for who has joined us and who has watched. You'll be able to. Good night, night, good night, good night, good night, night, good night, 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 night everybody. Everyone, you guys stay there. I will end the broadcast. Say bye.